Good day YouTube, today's video I want to tackle a battle, a single battle one on one that happened earlier today and I think there are some learning points about it. Essentially it is to highlight the importance of identifying which one is your most potent burst skill. In my case as a stem sock it is the haunting curse. Timing the haunting curse correct can really mean uh, the difference between victory and or you know getting tea back by the opponent right. So the haunting curse if you do not know it is a delayed burst that will do some damage after 3.5 seconds, quite a fair bit, and then the second burst is uh, eight and a half seconds later, or eight seconds later, or something like that. So it is important to keep a lookout on the timing for when the haunting curse is going to go off, and then synchronize that in accordance with your spammables and your other hard hitting skills. So this is my modus operandi. Just cruising through IC on horseback, the moment I see an opponent, I'm going to dismount and go into hide so I get the attack passive from the vamp skill line. So this guy is a bit AFK and as usual, I'll launch with my curse so you see the 3 seconds over here. And then I'll start the spam. And then after stunning him with a streak, I am prepared to land my Dawnbreaker on him. So previously I thought that my Dawnbreaker ultimate is usually the, the do or die, the, the skill that really makes a difference. But it's starting to get very unpredictable as you can see over here. I land my Dawnbreaker directly on him but zero damage has been done. So apparently Zor's server registered that the Arc of Fire is over here and I miss him completely. Which is a shame because as you can see the Haunting Curse actually together with Creed right because mine is a Creed build took out 11k health from him which is a lot. If that Dawnbreaker had landed properly he would probably be close to death and I would probably have a much easier time. So as it seems right now he's able to regenerate my Crystal Frag proc which I thought was also quite potent. Um, does 12k damage but usually it will the crystal frag lands around the time when the opponent has time to buff his shields and start healing and start kiting and do stuff so it's not really as effective as the haunting curse itself that initial burst that i hope to take so yeah and then my haunting curse landed on the ad instead so this is to highlight the importance of just that first burst right that initial attack how important it is so now this battle is dragging a bit longer than i wanted it to be and I've half a mind to just escape and quit because he is a mage sock. They are OP right now, and his shield seems to be quite formidable. And at this point, right, I'm just cursing him and looking at the time carefully. So after three seconds, I'll curse him again. I don't want to wait for eight seconds, right? And then at the same time, now that my magical has run out because I've been spamming crystal frag, I will then convert to uh, spamming silver shards, which will then exhaust my stem. So for my build, what I do is I alternate between spamming magical and stamina, so that either resource will always have time to recover while I'm utilizing the other one. The recovery on my build is not really the best. It's okay. It's, it's not the greatest. Like I have 800 and 600 of either magical and stamina. So what I do to cover up this deficiency would be that I have a magical spammable and a stamina, stamina spammable. So that I do not run out of uh, resource sustain issues, right? Okay, and um, basically I think this guy, he has very good recovery, but he doesn't have very good burst attack. So as my resource is being sustained, I think it's matter of time that I wear him down. And that was due to the curse and the crystal frag. If you revise again, okay, this particular curse again 11k was the one that did him in it comes very suddenly and it comes at a time where he may not have enough resource to heal himself and to get the shields up so that's how potent the curse is because my other spammables are the crystal frag and the silver shot will wear him down but it's very, more often than not countered by the opponent continuously recharging their shields and continuously healing themselves so, so they are kind of on the back pedal and they cannot attack you back but the curse is going to be the extra factor that will take him out so i hope uh, the takeaway from this obviously is how important the haunting curse is look at the top see the time properly and utilize the curse always do not do not leave it stagnant and do not run it down to eight seconds i think that's a bit of a waste every three seconds cast the haunting curse if your magical resource allows you to okay so that's a quick one i thank you for your time see you in the next video Goodbye.